Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take a look at how to fix or have a workaround for the corrupted JPEGs in Adobe Premiere. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we'll be taking a look at corrupted JPEGs in Adobe Premiere. Now, if you're a Premiere user currently, uh, this is November 2020, but it seems the problem has been existing for a little while now and does seem to be mostly revolving around the version 14 of Adobe Premiere Pro from the Creative Cloud Suite. It actually does seem to be better if you're using version 13, you may not experience it at all. And some people have said that there's possibility that drivers can affect it as well. This is mostly related to AMD graphics cards and in particular the AMD RX 5700 series and also the 5600 series and the 5500 series. And potentially uh, with the release of the imminent new 6000 series coming up in a couple of days time, potentially that could also be a problem as well. But I guess we'll soon find out on that one. But anyway, let's go over to the computer and we'll discuss it in more and I'll show you the workarounds. So here, this is my uh, normal everyday desktop, and what we're going to do is we're going to open up one of my example folders. So we'll go into videos. Uh, I don't want to go into OBS. We we'll go into YouTube videos, work in progress, and we'll open up my template, which is the way that I generally tend to work. And we'll wait for Adobe Premiere to open. I'm actually recording this in OBS as well, so. Um, it may be a little bit more blurry than usual, but straight away you can see there is my uh, Mike's Unboxing logo, which comes in and swipes out at the top there, as you can see, and you can tell already that that is completely corrupted. Now this is a standard JPEG, as you can see, it's a JPEG, we right click on it and choose properties, and you can see it's a JPEG file, normal kind of stuff, normal everyday JPEG file. And this happens with any JPEGs, if you just drag them in, put them on your timeline from your media, put them on there and it will happen. Now there's some ways you can get around this, one of which is to turn off hardware acceleration, which does have a negative effect on the entire timeline, because we can still scroll up and down here with the hardware assistance from the GPU, and it's absolutely fine. But if we turn off the hardware acceleration, obviously your media playback and also scrubbing on the timeline is going to be absolutely horrendous. So I certainly would recommend against that, but if you do want to do that, you can go up into File and go to Project Settings in general, and in your renderer here for video rendering and playback, you can just choose the software only engine. Again, if you've got a, uh, a high threaded processor or a very fast processor, this may not affect you too much, but uh, for most people, I think it's going to give a negative effect, but certainly it is a workaround, so potentially you could do that. That is one way of doing it. So we are using OpenCL, which seems to be what a problem is that OpenCL is causing a problem with the JPEGs and the way that they're rendered, especially in this particular version. So it doesn't seem this an AMD driver problem as such. It does seem as if it is down to Adobe to actually try and fix this. Like I said, what you can do also, you can, if you wanted to, if you go into your Creative Cloud, and if you go into the we look at Premiere Pro, here we are. Click on there and you can choose other versions. So then you could go, you could roll back. I'm currently on 14.5. 14.4 seems to have the problem. Most of the 14 series did it seems. So you can roll back to like a 13 version, 13.5 is absolutely fine. Click on install and it'll just install that as well. So you can choose to install Premiere Pro 13.5 or 13.1.5 up until they get a proper fix for Premiere Pro 14. So that is another potential option. But what I find is a very good way of doing it, and this is actually posted to us by Matthew Day on our Discord, so thank you, Matthew. What you can do is actually, if you've got your JPEG image, you can do a couple of things. First of all, you can actually open them in Photoshop and save them as something else, like a PNG or a TIFF file, that kind of thing. But if that's gonna be a real pain in the backside, what you can do is once you've dragged it in, just if you right click on the file, Go up to Modify, which is at the top here, and then you can choose Interpret Footage. And then what you can do is at the bottom here, we've got Color Management. You can choose Color Space Override, and then just choose sRGB. So we click OK, and then if we scroll back down, there we go. See our Mike's Unboxing logo is now working exactly as it should do, which is awesome. It's a pain in the backside, but if you do like the features of the Premiere 14 over 13, etc., etc. then this is a workaround. Personally, I would think for a lot of people, if you're using a lot of JPEGs being brought into your footage, 
then it might be easier just to roll back until they find a proper fix for it. Uh, Lucky thing, this does affect mostly Radeon graphics cards with the adrenaline drivers. It does also uh, have the same thing with the Catalyst Pro drivers or the Adrenaline Pro drivers, which I'm currently using the Pro version. I thought that might change it, but it has made no difference whatsoever. So there's various tweaks you can do to the drivers to try and get around it, but it does seem that it does rest solely in Adobe Premiere. So there we go, there is a relatively straightforward way of uh, fixing your JPEG files in Adobe Premiere. Obviously, it's not ideal. In the perfect world, it'd be great for Adobe to address the issue and to basically update the operating system or the actual software so that it does actually work properly with Radeon graphics cards. It doesn't seem to be the same with NVIDIA cards. They seem to be absolutely fine. So again, yeah, there does seem to be a slight bias with Adobe for NVIDIA cards. But Radeon cards for a lot of us are the cheaper and uh, more available alternative currently. So if this video has been helpful to you, please give the video a thumbs up. Um, obviously, if you've searched this video because you're getting problems with it and now you, at least you know what the problem is, so you don't have to worry about, is it my hardware? Is there a failure in the system? Uh, is there something wrong with the operating system? You can actually avoid all that kind of stuff. All you need to do is literally just roll back the version of Adobe Premiere or just change the uh, footage by interpreting it to a different type of color interface. Anyway, hopefully that all makes sense. Like I said, if uh, it does, give the video a like and all that kind of good stuff. If you've got any comments or questions, or if you're watching this in the future and there is a new fix available, please feel free to post it in the comments section and it, I'm sure it'll be helpful to all those other Adobe Premiere users that are currently pulling their hair out. So I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.